Hi everyone, I'm going to talk you through today a setup that I've been using for several years, which is called the Double Doji Setup. It's a candlestick pattern setup and it capitalizes on something that happens in markets all the time, which is contraction and expansion of volatility. And it very often produces, for me, good probability trades with an excellent two to one reward to risk. Two to one is what I look for in my best setups and something that is offered by this particular setup. And as always, a trading setup's never 100% guaranteed. You, there is a probability associated with it and the probability depends on all things being equal and it is very often it's about a consistent assessment of what's going on in the market and I'm going to give you an insight into what I look for that enables me to produce that consistency, identify these setups, take them and get a good reward to risk and for these particular trades as I say we're looking at two to one and this is how to grow a trading account. So here's the chart. This is the 30 minute DAX chart from Tuesday the 30th of July and Wednesday, the morning of Wednesday the 31st of July. And you can see on the chart, just talk you through that first of all, you can see that it's a candlestick chart and that I've got some EMAs on here. So as I say, 30 minute chart and this is the 8 EMA, this is the 20 EMA and this is the 90 EMA. Uh, this here is the pivot level for the 31st of July. Pivot level is a horizontal line and the, the EMAs are dynamically moving according to the most recent price action and price action that's gone on in the past. Okay, I use the dynamically moving levels, the EMAs, as indicators of value because whatever chart that you're looking at, and my speciality is technical analysis using charts and so any any chart is just a representation of supply and demand taking effect and altering prices that's all a, a chart is and we use the price action within the candlesticks to guide us as to where and give us clues as to where we think price might go next. So looking at this chart then on Tuesday the 30th of July yesterday the market plunged down. You can see the, the actually the um, all of the EMAs are falling as we speak now as we look at the chart now and they've they're falling out of the sky. There was a huge move down on the morning of Tuesday the 30th of July and that continued into the afternoon. And then we're getting some consolidation at the bottom here. And so moving into Wednesday, moving into today, who would you say has had the better of the morning so far? The Bulls? Or the bears. This is what I do is I make a quick analysis of the chart to say where do I think price might go next and so in my eyes from my interpretation of what's been going on in my brain and my experience I'm looking at these green bars here and saying well okay the bulls have been forcing their way up bears came in this was around about the open of the market this morning, bears came in, tried to force the market down, tried to force another bear trend day and they failed because 
this low here is lower than this low here so this morning they failed to make a new low and actually as this bar here comes up big green bull bar it goes above this high here and therefore the market is starting to move out of a downtrend on this particular chart and it may go into a trading range or it may start going up slightly and so I'm thinking that the bulls have made a better start to the day and therefore I'm favoring taking a long trade okay so I need this is my you know this is my analysis of what's going on in the market I'm also looking at what else is happening here we've got the pivot level up here okay so that is going to provide an opportunity f to take profits if I'm able to if I get a signal and I'm able to go long then I can take profits at this level here that would provide a good level the uh, gap here between where price is at the moment and the pivot level quite often there's a vacuum in there and price gets sucked up to that level before coming back down we've also got the 90 exponential moving average which is coming down and when price meets that level you can expect some kind of reaction and looking at this it could be around about the same level as the pivot if that's if price doesn't shoot right up here then it could be around about the same level so this is a good profit taking level now I need to be thinking about having content context and confluence for my trades three C's context content and confluence so I've got context here I've got context here the market is down around and resting and being pushed up almost as you can see by these exponential moving averages I'm favoring a long trade so that's good the eight exponential moving average which is a shorter term exponential moving average than the 20 so the 8 is above the 20 which is great and we're around about those levels there there they represent value and therefore it's a good level to look for taking trades from and the prices are being pushed up by the exponential moving averages or seemingly being pushed up they're not they're being pushed up by people buying and people fewer people selling or fewer volume selling and but all the same prices are being pushed up so what we've got here is we've got a big move down double bottom in here with a lower low and then a high higher low higher high so the market's moving into a short term or long term who can tell at this stage but an uptrend or an upward move upward leg and so when I'm looking at charts I'm always looking at expansion of volatility big bars followed by small bars contraction of volatility and contraction is often followed by expansion okay so what you get is you get periods of consolidation followed by big bars small bars followed by big bars periods of small bars followed by bigger bars and I like to take advantage of the bigger bars of course and so you know I've been scouring these markets for years and years trying to look for setups that are consistent that are identifiable and that give me a good reward to risk and we have here the potential this is a this is the content that we're looking at now the candlestick content in the short term we've got a doji bar here small bar in comparison to all of these bars previously doji bar here so a doji has got legs at the bottom and top and a very small middle and price has closed near the middle of the 
bar itself, followed by another doji bar. So this is called a double doji, two candlesticks where there's huge amounts of indecision. Price is pressed down and closed above the low in the middle. Price is pressed down, closed above the middle and above the ex short term exponential moving average. So you can see here one, two, three, four, five, six times on six consecutive candlesticks, price has pushed down below these, well, at least one of these moving averages and closed above it. So if, for example, you know, let's say we take a trade here and we take it long and price presses down, then I'm betting based on what we can see here that there are going to be buyers stepping in and price is going to finish further up the chart. This is just what I'm being told by what's happened in the past. But first of all, we need a trigger. We need a trigger for going long. Okay, so what we've got here is we've got a kind of flag, a bull flag. We've got price being compressed from the top here and from the bottom. It's being compressed, lower volatility, followed by, hopefully, bigger volatility upwards. If price drops down below, then we may get a big bar going down. But the chances of that happening are lower than, in my view, than prices going up if this double doji setup here is breached to the upside. So if price goes above the high here, I think it should get propelled upwards. And these, this is the double doji setup that I documented in my ebook. My, that you can get free on our website and I use it on all time frames and the various forex markets and indices. It works better on time frames over two, three minutes, uh, less well on the very, very short time frames and it does work on all time frames and this is the half hour so i keep an eye out for potential setups like this on lots of different charts throughout the day so what i'm looking for here markets pushed up keeps coming down being pushed back up and it's being pushed up by these exponential moving averages. We've got good rejection here below the exponential moving averages. And I'm betting that if price goes above this second, the one, two dojis, the second doji high here, then the market's going to zoom off upwards. So that's what I'm hoping to happen here. I'm hoping to take a trade when the market goes above this level here. And I'm going to be placing my protective stop below the low of the double doji pattern here. So that's what I'm looking for. And let's see what transpired. So on the very next candlestick, the market went up and triggered my order. So I'm now in a long position and I'm looking for a target of two times this. this. The difference between these two yellow lines here, I'm looking for a target of two times that. So... here okay so that would give me two times my risk this is my risk that would give me two times my risk it's underneath the pivot level in the vacuum area and underneath the 90 exponential moving average both of which I'd expect to provide resistance so these levels are providing support 
the ex shorter term exponential moving averages and if price goes up here then I'd expect some resistance at these levels here so take my profits I can get my profits nice and early okay so let's just move price action forward again no, the, you can see again that we've got small bar small bar small bar small bar we haven't yet had an indication of increased volatility we're still in a period of compression we've got here we've got a big green bar as i pointed out a big bull bar followed by an inside bar high and the lower inside this mother bar here and this bar is inside the mother bar this bar this bar this the, all of them are inside this bar here so it's unlikely that you'll see the expansion in volatility until the mother bar high or the mother bar low have been breached if the price goes below here i'm out of the trade for a loss and i'm looking for a big burst up here to take my profits and on the next bar we got that big expansion in volatility so we got a burst above all of these highs here and it closed the market closed here and so it's not reached my target yet and it's always tempting in situations like this to take profits because I'm thinking well there's the increase there's the increase in volatility and it didn't make my target and the temptation is there because you know at this stage I, I'm probably at one and a half times my risk as a reward it's looking good but that isn't the game of trading the game of trading is to know your setups and wait for the target to be reached you know I've been trading a long time I know that these setups work on you know that there's a high probability that the market is going to get up to this level here uh, it makes sense it hasn't made it yet and it could be that price comes down and then it'll you have to wait through a pullback and then the market will go up I know it's likely so we wait and a doji bar okay still not reached target targets here still not reached target and it's a doji bar and when you see bars like that then you suspect that there's going to be some kind of pullback and we have to wait we have to wait interestingly we're also at a round number level this is 12200 this is the 12200 round number level and that could play a part um, however the market has gone through that level pushed above it so if the market pulls back my betting is that it will actually probably bounce bounce upwards but we have to wait and see at this stage here you can have a look back and say okay how did this 200 level affect prices previously well you can see that they were it was providing resistance through all of that resistance here but there's nothing here no resistance no support well slight bit of resistance here no support on the way down probably not that significant an area so we've breached it settled above it and we have to wait and see what happens next so here's our setup as we have a look at what did happen next our entry the expansion in volume and there we go the market actually pushed right up from here and took out the target just about almost filled the gap in the, the vacuum was sucked up here nearly got to the pivot level and then started coming back down 
and came back down all the way to the exponential, shorter term exponential moving averages. So it filled the gap, pulled right back down. But at this stage, I've taken my profit. So I got two to one reward to risk from this trade. And that is the double doji setup. There's a period of consolidation in the market. The market's being, prices are being pushed up by the exponential moving averages seemingly. And you can, in this sort of setup, I look to place my risk below the setup bars, below the content in the immediate price action, entry above and two times risk as a reward is what we got on this particular trade. And this is a setup that I've been trading for years. It works consistently for me. There's a good probability, never 100%, but there's a good probability on these type of trades. It's all in the analysis, understanding the charts, forming an opinion. I formed an opinion as to where I thought it was logical price might go, thought it might go up towards this pivot level and towards the 90 exponential moving average before being meeting that those levels and before offering the, you know, before the sellers come in to start offering resistance to prices going higher and that's exactly what happened but I needed to see you know I couldn't down here before I got my setup I couldn't just go long with a hope and a prayer I needed my setup and I got my setup in the double doji here and I went long and I sat it out I sat it out until I was able to take my profits in this bar here and it was good timing because the market then came back down. So my name's Anthony Beardsall. I hope you found that useful. I hope that if you're learning to trade, you've got a proper education, you need a proper education, you need to understand candlesticks, you need to understand the dynamics of supply and demand, you need to understand the part that indicators play in trading you can see the only indicators that we've got on the charts here are the well the pivot level which is a support and resistance tool but the exponential moving averages don't, i don't need anything else other than that to tell me what's going on i you know there's never a hundred percent guarantees in trading but you can analyze charts and candlesticks to assess buying and selling pressure and make good judgments based on that that over a period of time you take, you find your consistency in your approach and consistency in your execution, then if you're getting twice your risk as a reward, as I did here, this is what I look for. If you get that, then you're going to be on the road to something special for your trading and it's going to enable you to trade for a living if that's what your aim is. So my name's Anthony Bidsall, hope you enjoyed that. Look forward to you joining me on the next video. Bye for now.